This is troubling. You never beat me to work. You want me to go home? No, no. Uh, just answer me this. Did you or did you not sneak into your room last night alone? Yeah, I did. It's my room. Yeah, but alone? Did you and Dante have another fight? No, we're just trying to be considerate of Michael. He has a curfew in a loft. It's not exactly private. Can't Michael lock himself in the bathroom with a good magazine or something? <laughs> no. Well, that's probably better. I mean, you and Dante don't want to burn out too quickly. I hate this computer. We need to get a tech in here right now. I, I took care of it. Good, because if Kate gets here and I haven't printed out these fall layouts, I'm going to be in so much trouble. Greetings, blonde ones. Have a jackal's here to vanquish all Trojan horses, worms, and other cyber... Villains? Look, don't be mad at me. I had to get the computer fixed. I already tried to talk to Spinelli. He will not listen don't to me. Don't give up. The, the jackal detects a heartbeat. All is not lost. Spinelli, <clears throat> about the other day at Jason's, when I was all snarky about Brenda, that's only because I'm worried about you. Well, there's no need for concern. Um, has anyone been defragging this regularly? You know I always forget to do that. Spinelli, I know you, and this crush that you have on Brenda, you're gonna end up devastated. The Divine One would never hurt me. Um, so I think it's so great that Brenda has your support during her really short time here. However, uh, Jason is going to take care of her problem, and she's gonna be back in Rome in no time. Where she's happy. And has a life. And a movie star. Well, one can never tell. There might be something worthwhile in Port Charles that she might find that would make staying here a more appealing prospect. There are corrupted files in your D drive. That sounds very, very dangerous. Oh dear. How much is this going to cost me? Uh, not to worry. This brave little computer will live to serve another day, and I will be out of here in no time so I can return to the needs of the Divine Brenda. The Divine who? Uh, Brenda Barrett, supermodel, humanitarian. She's residing here in town. And somehow this just slipped your mind. Ladies, honestly, how could I have such two negligent employees? You both should know how important it is to get Brenda Barrett for the Crimson Cover. That was my original plan. Yes, but somehow, Maxie, you failed to deliver. You did not approach Brenda yourself, nor did you tell me she was in Port Charles so that I could approach her. What's your excuse? Don't blame Lulu. She was out of town. Right. So someone please explain how Spinelli has such intimate knowledge of Brenda's comings and goings. Uh, the Divine One is in Stone Cold's care. He keeps her safe, and I tend to her other needs. <laughs> What needs? You, it's not what you think. You don't know what I think, because if you did, you would know that someone interested in a career in fashion would not let Brenda Barrett slip through her fingers. Excuse me. Maximista is thoroughly devoted to you and your magazine. If she failed to deliver the Divine Brenda, it's because the Divine Brenda did not wish to be delivered. Madeline, look, if you can't produce Brenda Barrett for the cover, then we're just going to have to go with Heidi. Now the agency's claiming they don't even know where she is. Uh, it's because they don't. But you do? It's a lot harder to find Brenda than you think. Uh, suffice it to say, the Divine One situation is most dire. People! She is a fashion model! Why is everyone acting like she's carrying state secrets? Uh, Jekyll's not at liberty to discuss such matters. Uh, Stone Cold's specific instructions were to guard the Divine One's privacy. Uh, but, you know, Maximista has always done her very best to satisfy the Glacial One, but in this instance, your wish must remain unfulfilled. Kate, maybe if you spoke directly with Jason? Uh, yes, after which I will go ask a brick wall. The result will be the same. Point taken. Enough excuses, you two. You should know my priorities by now. So, is it too much to hope that you can produce my Toronto itinerary, the submissions for the models for the New Year's issue, uh, the proofs from Federico's last shoot, and the dream list of advertisers before lunch? Itinerary, New Year's, Federico, and wish list. On and lunch has been ordered. On my desk. Thank you sticking up for me. Well, Jackal is in tune with the way your mind works. It's a wondrous thing, Maximista. Fully operational. <laughs> oh, thank you, Spinelli. You're the best. You know, no matter what divinity crosses my path, 
You're in a class all your own. And I remain your most loyal fan. Two. Kate is wheels up. We are free until she makes her next internet connection. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to apologize to Spinelli. I think that we're finally reaching the point where we can be friends. Good, as long as you don't get jealous every time he looks at another woman. Brenda is not another woman. Men fall all over themselves when she walks into a room. Not every man is turned into a zombie by her. Jason doesn't count. He was a zombie before. But Dante's not, and he's met her in person, and he's hardly fallen under her spell. 